Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna the Project. Uh, continuing in our series of videos with respect to truva, the elements of truva, uh, related to knowing that something that you're doing something wrong, and stopping it is as part of the stopping process. Another element is vowing to yourself, and more importantly, vowing uh, to Hashem that whatever it is that you've stopped, you're going to vow not to repeat it. The Temptation, the Yetzirah, is going to continue. If you stop it once, great. But you're going to be put in that position again. And to vow that should you ever be put in that position again, you're not going to do it. You're not going to say, well, you know, I'm, uh, uh, I'm having this... Uh, uh, I'm, this week I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep kosher. I'm not going to have any cheeseburgers. But next week I'll probably have one. It's not a one-shot deal. Not only is truva a process, it's an ongoing process. Every day you wake up, if you say, I'm going to be observant. Whether you're Jewish, born Jewish, uh, a convert, or a Noahide, every morning you wake up, you make the decision, I'm going to be observant. I'm going to obey the Word of God. Every day is fresh, and every day has new challenges. Now, hopefully, in your vow that you'll not do it again, the more you successfully say no, the more you successfully abstain from that behavior, hopefully the easier it will get. That's the hope. Uh, may it always be so. Sometimes it's harder than others. There are some offenses, there are some averas that for some people are very difficult. Everyone is born to a greater or lesser extent with a uh, a Yetzahara, an evil inclination. Everyone's different. For example, um, the Yetzahara to a person for gambling, for just for an example. For one person, it could be very, very strong. They will bet on anything. They will bet money on which droplet of water falls and hits the ground first. For me, for example, I have no Yetzahara with respect for gambling. That's not, that's not my uh, Avera. But for someone else, it could be very, very strong. And the challenge for that person is to avoid, avoid not all kinds of, uh, not only all kinds of bad behavior, but a certain thing. Vow not to do it again. You may not succeed at first. You may fall down. The Tanakh says a righteous person falls down seven times and gets up. It's not that a righteous person doesn't mess up, that they don't fall. Everybody makes a mistake. Everyone falls down. Everyone falls short. The point is that a righteous person gets back up. That's what makes them righteous. Not that they don't make a mistake. It's just that when they do mistakes, they get themselves up. A bad person, a rasha, he falls down, he stays there. Why? He likes it. Be a good person. Follow the commandments and realize it's not just a one-shot deal. It's a way of life. Observance is a way of life, both for Jews and for Bnei Noach. And commit yourself every day to be an observant person. So when that temptation comes along, when you're put in that situation, you will know that you will struggle with it and you will beat it. As best you can, you will beat it. In um, the Rambam's uh, Mishnah Torah, in Hilchas Tshuva, he gives an example. How do you know when you've done Tshuva? When you're put in a, uh, he gives the example uh, of adultery. Um, you're put in a situation where previously you've had an improper relation with someone. You know it was wrong. You've done tshuva. You said you're going to stop it. And uh, you vowed not to do it again. You're put in the same situation. You're with that person. The temptation is still there. The desire is still there. But you say, you no, know, I've done tshuva. I'm, I've committed myself. I'm not going to do that again. I've promised myself. I promised God I'm not going to do it again. And you don't. That's a sign that you've done tshuva. That's the example given by the Rambam in Hilchus Tshuva. Um, it's an ongoing process. Vow the, the averas, the sins, the offenses that you've done in the past. Vow not to do them again and then struggle not to do them again. Hopefully, hopefully, each time you successfully say no, each time you successfully resist, it will be easier next time. Speaking of next time, please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you find them enjoying. I hope you find our advice encouraging. Uh, and uh, on uh, until next time, 
On behalf of the Imona Project, I'm Daniil, and thank you too much.